Everything Top 10 is proud to present the top 10 things you didn't know about Jamar Chase. Number 10. Chase's parents, Jimmy and Talia Chase, have been pivotal figures in their son's football career. In 2020, Chase opted not to play for the LSU Tigers due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Instead, the wide receiver decided to prepare for the NFL draft in 2021. In the draft, he was selected by the Cincinnati Bengals as the fifth overall pick. The 21-year-old was reunited with quarterback Joe Burrow, who had played with Chase at LSU. In the aftermath of Chase's decision to forego his final season at LSU, his father Jimmy went on a campaign with media outlets explaining Jamar's decision to opt out of the season. According to his father, the decision for Jamar to skip the college football season was made by the family. Number 9. Chase was a four-star recruit out of Archbishop Rummel High School in Metairie, Louisiana. He was ranked as the number 15 wide receiver in the United States and the number four football recruit in the entire state of Louisiana. Chase committed to the LSU Tigers in 2017 before entering the university with the 2018 class. LSU wasn't the only big-time college football program interested in Chase. He visited the Auburn Tigers, Michigan Wolverines, and TCU Horned Frogs before committing to LSU. Number 8. The four-star recruit was highly recruited out of high school, as we have previously noted. Chase accumulated 2,152 receiving yards and 30 receiving touchdowns during his time with the Raiders. No wonder so many schools wanted his signature. Number 7. Despite committing to the LSU Tigers and starring for the team from 2018 to 2020, things could have been much different for Jamar Chase and the LSU football team. How different? Chase originally committed to two different schools before finally deciding to attend LSU. He committed to the Florida Gators in 2017. Chase's decision to decommit to Florida came two weeks after Florida parted ways with head coach Jim McElwain. After decommitting to the Gators, Chase took to Twitter and posted, Please respect my decision. Number 6. Chase's time in Baton Rouge wasn't long. He played a mere 27 games for the LSU Tigers during his college football career. In 2019, the wide receiver caught 84 passes for 1,780 yards and 20 touchdowns. His 20 touchdown catches were a Southeastern Conference record. Unfortunately, the record was broken the following season by wide receiver Devontae Smith. Chase had six games where he had more than 100 receiving yards. On three occasions, Chase had more than 200 receiving yards in a game. He set a college football playoff championship game record with 221 receiving yards against Clemson. At the end of the 2019 regular season, Chase won the Fred Bolitnikoff Award as the best receiver in college football. He was also a unanimous All-American pick. Number 5. Professional athletes love Instagram models, and Jamar Chase is no different. The wide receiver's girlfriend is Amber Nicole, an Instagram model with around 12,000 followers. The two have had a rocky relationship in 2021, as Nicole claimed she was pregnant with Chase's baby. However, it has been difficult to confirm her pregnancy on social media ever since she made this claim. While the pair is said to be in a relationship, neither Chase nor Nicole have posted images of themselves together on their Instagram accounts. Unfortunately for the couple, there have been a number of issues between them in the past that could explain why a long-term relationship may not be on the cards. Number 4. In the summer of 2021, Amber Nicole took to Instagram to speak out about her troubled relationship with Chase. She posted Instagram stories alleging Chase of domestic violence. Nicole wrote, Told myself I wouldn't put my business on the media anymore, but... She then posted, Putting your hands on a pregnant female is lame as fuck. The final post was a picture taken of Chase standing on the balcony of what appeared to be their apartment with his back to Nicole. She typed, Pussy across the image. Chase was tagged in each story, likely escalating an already tense situation between the couple. Not long after the Instagram stories were made, Nicole deleted them. However, she couldn't delete them before they were screenshotted by Bengals fans, sports media members, and bloggers. 
After the drama from Nicole, Chase took to Twitter. He posted a tweet that read, These fake pages be killing me, bruh, with tears of joy emojis. Number 3. Problems between Chase and Amber Nicole are nothing new. She has previously taken to social media and alleged Chase has done her wrong. Nicole alleged Chase had slept with multiple women in the past while the two were engaged in a long-term relationship. As it stands, Nicole's allegations against Chase of domestic violence and sleeping around are unproven. However, it hasn't stopped people on social media from attacking the Bengals wide receiver. Number 2. You may not realize it, but the Florida Gators were not the only college football team that Jamar Chase committed to. Before pledging his future to the Gators and then LSU, Chase visited Kansas University. He must have fallen in love with Lawrence, Kansas because the wide receiver committed to the Kansas Jayhawks football program in early 2017. However, by February 4, 2017, Chase had decided against playing for the Jayhawks. His commitment to Kansas was for just 10 days. After decommitting to the University of Kansas, Chase released a statement saying, After having a lengthy discussion with my parents, I realized that I can't make a rational decision when my emotions are involved. Making a decision about my future needs to be a family decision, and I have to make sure that my family is on the same page. This has nothing to do with Kansas or the coaches at Kansas. It's a great place, and they're doing great things. With that being said, I'm announcing my decommitment from the Kansas Jayhawks. In the end, his decommitment from Kansas and Florida were the right moves for everyone except KU and the Gators. Number 1. Some TCU fans blame the NFL Network for Jamar Chase not choosing the Texas College. Before committing to LSU, many football fans expected Chase to select TCU. He was supposed to make the announcement on the NFL Network's July 3rd broadcast of the 7-on-7 championships at the opening finals. The NFL Network moved Chase's college football team selection announcement, however. The announcement was moved due to a game delay and a surprise college commitment from Greg Emerson. According to conspiracy theorists, Chase was going to choose TCU, but his stock increased at the 7-on-7 championships, which led LSU to make a late push to get him, which they did. That's all, folks. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and comment down below which NFL player you want to see us make a video about next. Make sure you subscribe to us as well. Also, tell us if you think Jamar Chase will win the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. See you next time.